Hello, Xerxes is 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 channel. This is um Gargleflop. I really frickin' hate that name. Or um the second coming as I am known on DPXE. Anyway, this is a battle against Icy Vegeta. He was cool enough to let me um record this and let uh let me show it to you. Anyway, um I get absolutely demolished, I'm going to say that now, but since this is kind of just a fun tourney and it's not serious, I figured we should all just laugh at my stupidity and my random sets, because why the hell not? Anyway, I lead off with Pseudo Wudo, he leads off with Zapdos, um, I'm just going to go Stealth Rocks just to kick off, he's going to substitute and then he's going to go Agility, so I'm assuming he's that sub Agility Baton Pass Zapdos that... Um, I've seen a little bit, but um, it's more in 5th gen, yeah, ooh, 5th gen, oh, it's disgusting. Anyway, I go um, roll out, hoping I'd break the sub, but I don't, which is slightly depressing, because I do run max attack on this pseudo Wudo, so I don't know what happened to that. Um, he is going to baton pass out with a sub intact and go into an executor, so now his executor has plus two speed, and um, it isn't looking good. I'm not going to say my team is built, like, really, really well, because it isn't. None of it makes any sense. If you're wondering, my word is second, because I'm really unimaginative like that. So, it, it isn't built with, like, trying to counter things in mind. It's just built for a laugh. It has some vague synergy in there, but no. Not exactly very amazing. Still, um, his Leaf Storm misses and my rollout misses um, on the same turn, which is pretty funny. So um, I didn't get a good hit off on him, and he didn't kill me. So there you go. Um, I go into Dragonite, hoping to sponge the Leaf Storm and maybe see what kind of set he is. I'm assuming he has White Herb. However, he um, makes a good prediction or play, whichever one you look at it. And um, Sleep Powders. So, um, now I am asleep, I'm kind of hoping I can, you know, just stay asleep one turn, see what he's going to do, and then um, maybe switch out, save Dragonite, sleep fodder, just see where I can go. However, his psychic does 160 to me, right? So I'm thinking, alright, as long as Min Max doesn't screw me over, I can live another one, right? No, no. Min Max screws me over, so I die. Hooray! So that one goes Dragonite, and um, there's this lovely plus two speed executor sitting here, which, yeah, um, a lot of my team is kind of weak to it. However, I do have one thing that can kind of deal with it sort of kind of vaguely, which is Charizard. I'm going to switch into Charizard now after going into Omastar to bait the Leaf Storm, so I'll go for it. And then he either goes to minus two special attack, or he has to burn his White Herb, which is nice. Um, turns out he does have the White Herb, as I thought he would, and as I was hoping he wouldn't, so that's a pain in the ass. But now, um, I am going to switch out, because Charizard can't take a Psychic, because as cool as it is, you know, big, sort of, dragony thingy, whatever the hell, I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they made it. Um, yeah, it isn't exactly going to take an Executor special hit well, in the slightest. So I am just going to switch out. I think I go into Empoleon, because Empoleon can take the Psychic. Um, it can take a Lee Storm. It won't like it, but um, if push comes to shove, it can. I wouldn't... Yeah, it isn't going to take two, though. Although now that I've burned the White Herb, it might actually be able to pull that off. But I think I have, what, a Citrus Berry, so it's not like I'm getting lefties gain. But that's kind of the whole point of the tournament. It forces you to sort of dig deep and find random things that could work out. You never know. Although I think um, some people have managed to make some really interesting and innovative teams where I've just kind of come out with a lump of crap. Oh well. Anyway, he's going to go into an Omastar. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, because his executor was at plus two speed and was sitting pretty cushy right there. But um, I go into Empoleon, try and Hydro Pump, I miss. He's, as I said, he Stealth Rocks. And he's going to switch into a Blissey. Ah, I hate this thing. I go Hydro Pump, I hit, it's a Blissey, it will do nothing. So um, I do sort of vaguely have something that might be able to deal with it. I have a Nido King. Because I figured that will absorb a Toxic or a T-Wave if it has it. And um, I should be okay to T-Spikes. 
But he has Sing. And I'm like, oh, oh, and it hits. So, yeah, that's really, really terrible. I could have used Torn. I could have set up some T-Spikes. I could have sort of vaguely gone places, but yeah, that's not good now. Um, since this is a stab-only tawny, I'm not entirely sure what move he has. I mean, it's not like he's going to run double-edge, so I'm assuming it was full utility and taunt would have been so good. He brings in a Marowak as I burn a turn asleep, um, and that's terrible, because my Dragonite is dead, and all I have to take it is Charizard, so that's just awful in every way. I am going to try and you know, get somewhere though, so I go into Charizard, because it's the only thing that will dodge an EQ, he's going to sob, and, um, I basically have to DD and see where I go from there, because I'm assuming this Marowak is either, like, max attack, max defense, or some variation with max attack or max defense, because that's kind of what Marowak's good at. He has sob, and then he swaggers me, so it's like, I have to make sure I don't hit myself now. If I don't hit myself, then I should be okay. If I do, I'm done. And I hit myself. So, crap. Um, down goes Charizard, and the only thing that can dodge is Earthquake. Whoa. So, it isn't exactly looking peachy for me. Um, I, yeah, every other thing I have left is now weak to EQ. Um, I am going to try and get somewhere, though. I do have a couple of water guys, so I'm going to go into my armor star, and um, I go for a Hydro Pump, and I miss. So down goes Armistar, down to the EQ. So, um, it, yeah, I'm not going to say hacks went in my favour, but bleh. it's a game, it's meant to be fun, so screw it, what do I care? Um, so down goes Armistar, and I'm thinking, right, I've still got Empoleon, I can still do something here, I can, you know, break break his sub and you know, maybe go somewhere. However, as he pointed out quite well, um, what I should have done is gone to Empoleon, Flash Cannon to break the sub, and then brought in Armistar to Hydro Pump. But um, I'm not exactly good at the game, as you'll see by the fact I do get 6 owed. I mean, even without the hacks, I wouldn't have won. I never really do. I don't really aim to. But still, after Flash Cannoning the sub and taking it down, he's going to EQ me, take out the Empoleon. Um, all I have left is a sleeping Nido King and my Pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo only has rollout. That's not exactly, um, you know, going to get me anywhere. I do have Defense Curl, though, and I am max defense. And I was thinking, well, you know, how powerful can Marowak really be? Although I suppose, like, one thing I didn't take into account is that he's probably giving it a fit club, which probably makes it incredibly powerful. And Sudowoodo has, like, no HP, so, yeah, I wasn't exactly thinking logically there. So he's going to EQ me, and I was thinking, oh, you never know, I might take it okay, maybe I can get a defense curl up and, you know, live too, but no, he's going to one-shot me. So all I have left is a sleeping Nido King. I go into my Nido King, um... I am, you know, just going to go for an Earth Power, because if I wake up, then I might be able to kill it. I, I don't know, it's about the best thing I've got. Um, so I go for it, and I wake up, I go Earth Power, and it's like, oh, come on, Nido King, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, but he doesn't kill. He doesn't get anywhere near, and I die from an EQ. Anyway, that's good game, Icy Vegeta. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this, and... Um, I hope you carry on playing in the tourney. It's pretty fun, and the rule set is interesting. So, you know, keep, keep, keep at it, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.